Mr. Speaker, this morning the Environment Minister held a media conference. A journalist asked if the current rules requiring carbon levy funds to be spent in Alberta would continue or would they be able to be spent elsewhere, to which the Minister replied, I am open to that. Hmm. Mr. Speaker, the government won't help industry develop pipelines to export pro product, but it seems open to exporting Alberta tax dollars and by extension jobs. Will the Premier re rein in her minister before she actually does this? Uh, well, Premier. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. As I said uh, earlier, the uh, plan going forward, uh, w there's been no plan set to change the, the way the, uh, the emissions management fund is expended. Or, or, or where it is expended. Uh, what we have done is ensured that the contribution to that fund will s slowly increase over the next two years, while at the same time we're working in partnership with industry, with stakeholders, with community members in order to develop a comprehensive climate change strategy that will A, bring about positive outcomes for Albertans, and B, improve our ability to um, access markets with respect to our product outside of this country. Sounds like the Premier's open to that too, Mr. Speaker, because she didn't say no. Mr. Speaker, given that the, Premier, and the previous government was proposing uh, increasing the stringency levels from 12 to 24 percent, and what was presented this morning, in my understanding, may actually water that down, certainly not increase it. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I know that the Minister wants to uh, impress her fancy foreign friends in Paris later on this year, uh, but the fact is, why, why, in order to do that, would she weaken and water down the rules that our that our previous environment minister was going to be to bring in? And uh, what are we actually going to do that is actually going to show? Member, honourable minister. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. You know, when it comes to climate change, this government will do better than previous governments. And I rise uh, today to report to the House that uh, we have uh, uh, proposed an increase to the specified gas emitters regulation from 15 to uh, uh, $30 uh, per ton by 2017 and increasing the stringency to 20 percent, Mr. Speaker. These numbers have not come as a surprise to industry. There have been conversations uh, since we assumed office. Uh, on this topic, Mr. Speaker, and uh, we look forward to the f uh, future conversations that we are going to be having with industry, environmental groups, and Albertans as we move forward, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, the uh, government's plan looks like a rehash environmentally of what was going to happen anyways, well, except we're seeing more rules and more regulations uh, undoing the Alberta Energy Royal Regulator, adding a royalty review, higher taxes, higher costs of, of doing business. Mr. Speaker, to the Premier, how can you reassure hard-working Albertans that they're not going to lose a whole lot of their hard-earned dollars with these increased costs that have to be paid, passed along to them in the form of higher energy costs? And are you actually going to help with pipelines so that if better, cleaner energy is developed, we'll be able to sell it to some? Honourable Premier. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I think there's about 19 questions in there. <laughs> it's going to be a little bit hard to get to all of them. Uh, I, I mean, I, I think it's interesting that the, the Honourable Leader of a third party on one hand is suggesting that we didn't go far enough with the tax on, with respect to the uh, specified gas emitters regulation. And then on the other hand, he's suggesting that we're going too far in terms of some of the other things that we're discussing. What we've decided to do is to, uh, to move forward on the changes that his former government delayed putting into place for years and years and years, talked a lot, but never actually put them into place. So we've moved forward with those in consultation with industry, and in the meantime, we're working with industry and other stakeholders about other number of different important issues.